Hello and welcome back to another episode on Life Afloat. In today's video I'm going to be doing a bit of stove maintenance on my uh, more so squirrel 1410 or 1410 multi-fuel stove. Got a new glass to fit in the door of the stove because this one has cracked and I've got a new what I think is called riddle grate to put inside the stove as well because that is well and truly gone and I've been having to use a piece of a metal mesh um, in the bottom there for the coals to sit on top of so that's no good I am going to replace that and uh, yeah just get the stove back up and uh, running as it should be if you're new to the channel welcome my name's Mark I live on board a 61 foot traditional style narrowboat called Round the Bend make all sorts of boaty videos from cruising uh, videos sit down chats and canal side walks with my dog Daisy and boat maintenance and that sort of thing so feel free to subscribe if that's uh, what you're into and there's some links in the description uh, below the video you might be interested to take a look at as well but what I'm going to do now is set up the camera and show you the stove right so this is the inside um, I've just cleared out a few remaining last bits of coal that were in there um, that's the mesh that I've had over the big hole where the part of the riddle grate was uh, missing. So I'm going to remove that. Uh, where can I put that? I'll pop that down there for now. I think I'm going to make a right mess here. Um, this is, as you can see, uh, quite broken. There's a lot of it missing. Um, it's connected to a uh, metal stick that comes from under there out through a hole in the front so I have to somehow try and disconnect that which is not going to be much fun I don't think I've I tried to disconnect it once and it was an absolute nightmare I don't know if there's a knack to this or what in fact does this come out yeah I'm going to take these out and this out can. No, I can't. Ah, I can put that at an angle. Ah, did it. Oh, there we go. So you can see that is um, comes to the end of his life, really. Never mind. So I'll chuck that out. Uh, right, what have I done with the new one? Um. Oh, bear with me. Right, so here is a nice new one. That's what it's supposed to look like. Take that off. So, a bit of a difference. Uh, right, let's try and get this fitted. Uh, right, let's see if I can poke that in. Oh my god. Right, this is a bit fiddly. Ah, right. I think I might have just done it if I can get that thing to sit right. There we go. You see that moving? That's what it's supposed to do. A bit noisy. You pull that in and out and it spins that around and shakes all the coal dust down. Ah, good. Done it. Well, that is a good job done. Right, okay. So I'll just put these back. I'm going to give this a good clean out um, as well. Let me just get this and I'm just going to brush out the ash that's behind those sort of side plates. So that can go down into the ash pan. What I will do is I'm going to sweep the um, chimney flue as well. I'm not going to record that. I absolutely hate that job. But it absolutely needs to be done every few months, especially over winter anyway. Now winter's coming up. I'm going to just give it a good um, sweep. Because the risk is if you don't do it, 
the build up of certain dirt in there can actually catch fire so it does need to be done and also it can prevent your stove from uh, running as efficiently so I'll tell you what I have just noticed is the bricks at the side are broken uh, it's not good means they need replacing at some point right anyway I'll put these back oh next is to tackle the glass on the door now this might be a bit tricky because those screws look pretty old and uh, not in the best of conditions but I'm going to take the door off and uh, see if I can get that done right so here's the door which I've taken off uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera or not but the crack is just there um, I'm not sure the best way to do this so there are four screws one two three four with little clips and when I loosen those I can turn the clips and the glass should come out but I need to give this all a good bit of a clean up first really because it's all rather rather sooty so um, that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to spray the screws with a bit of WD-40 and let that soak in for a few minutes because what I really don't want to do is strip the screw heads or even snap them off that would be even worse so bit of WD-40 will hopefully help them to um, come out nicely but first thing first is to give this a bit of a clean up right this is going to make a right old mess I'm sure but never mind I should have done it in a bucket or something shouldn't I oh well there's probably something much better to use than a brush as well to be honest with you but that's what I've decided to use pay attention around the screws what I could do is an old toothbrush which I might have somewhere actually so I do keep old toothbrushes for these sorts of jobs. Let me just have a look. Right, I'm back with an old toothbrush and my WD-40, which I'll use in a moment. I just want to get in these screws and try and clean out some of that build up. That's actually in the head of the screws where the screwdriver goes. Yeah, that's good. I'll brush some more off of here as well. Right, now I'll give that a generous coating of WD-40. And just sort of let it do its thing and soak in for a bit. give that 10 minutes and then we'll come back right so that WD-40 has been soaking a while I'm just gonna get um, my screwdriver you can probably hear the box opening uh, and I need to find the best bit for it really that one looks like it might work well no uh, this is what I've worried about it doesn't feel like it can get in there because of all the dirt even though I've removed as much as I could um, mm. it's just not gripping on it at all I don't need to undo them much, just enough to be able to turn the, um, the 
the little brackets there holding the glass in place. So that feels like it's the right um, bit size. It fits nice in that one, but these ones, there's too much stuff in them for it to actually bite. Um, let's see if I can get this in there anymore. What have I got I can poke in there? Um, oh, I know. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes for the WD-40 um, WD uh, soak in. There's quite a lot of stuff still in the heads of the screws, so I'm going to use this skewer to try and get in and scrape some of the stuff out because I don't want to use um, a screwdriver if it's going to damage the, the head of the screw and then make it awkward to um, actually undo. So my, I'm hoping... Yeah, it's not doing a lot. I was hoping that it would remove some of the, uh, the build up. Oh dear. Maybe squirt a little bit more of that in. that's made any difference. Hmm. Not really. Okay, uh, well that wasn't a very successful job on the door there. Um, or on changing the glass even. This, the, yeah, the screws are not coming off. That is completely knackered. Um, So, I think I'm just going to have to get a new door, to be quite honest with you. I'm not sure how much they are, but it is what it is. I know that they're well over £100. We'll see. Right, anyway. I'm going to pop this door back on. At least I've got the new riddle grate in, which I'm very pleased about. I can continue to use the stove with a, a crack in the glass, I believe. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'm just going to give this glass a bit of a clean as I've got the as I've got the stove out. I might as well just give it a clean. I'm going to see if WD-40 cleans it up all right. I think it probably will. Right. Sort of. There we go. Right, so I've just put the door back on. I'm going to go and clean up and uh, have a little look online and see how much the new door is. Um, but I think it's okay to use with a crack in the glass. I'm sure I've seen people using them before. I know that doesn't mean that it's okay, but I'm sure it is. No, no fumes are coming out. I've got my carbon monoxide testers here anyway they they're not been going off so hopefully it'll be okay um so anyway yeah i need to have a, a good old clear up and wash my hands um but obviously that's that's a stove nice new riddle grate in there and unfortunately couldn't do the glass in the door but um i will get a new door for it at some point which would be good because then i'll be able to turn the um top air vent as well because it's proper jammed I can't get it loose I've soaked it in WD-40 I've had a block of wood on it tapping it with a mallet and it just it doesn't budge so I need to get an, uh, a new door really anyway so it is what it is but uh, thank you for watching um, not the most interesting of videos I appreciate but uh, a video nonetheless of uh, things that need to be maintained on the boat. The stove is obviously an important part of the boat that needs to be maintained and uh, especially for me it's the only source of heating that I've got and obviously winter's coming up so I want to make sure it's absolutely top notch. 
Um, but anyway, yes, thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to check out those links in the description that I mentioned at the start of the video. And uh, take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one.